Flag is back out, Doc. Restart. And Will Power will try to fend off that hungry pack of people behind him. Look at Alexander Rossi trying to fight his way through in that blue and yellow. And he's on the high car. side again. Man, I can't believe he did it. <laughs> he got through two drivers in two corners. Rossi, who started in second to last in this race, fighting his way to the front. Well, he's starting to put all of his cards on the table. flag but what a brilliant piece of driving caught the car brought it back put it up against the wall and this is going to be a longer cleanup what a piece of driving by Rossi on the top side around one and two and it's not the first time he's done it it's the second I really don't know what happened man Well, let's see if we can find out what uh, what happened. As the young driver from Nazareth, Pennsylvania, found the wall. Same thing that happened to everybody else. Wow. Back end started to come around. Got loose. He caught it halfway through the turn. But when he hit the wall, it just ripped that right rear tire sure off the car. Did. And after that... Once you hit the wall, everything starts coming off. That started before he came into view. Riding along with Scott Dixon, looking forward. Oh. I'll tell you, there is some wild stuff going on in these restarts. Anytime it gets closer to the end of the event, Eddie, as you mentioned, drivers are all thinking about track position. You want to get further up in the field as far as you can because these cars are difficult to pass with, and everybody knows it's getting time to put the show on. The worst part of that accident was that rear tire bouncing around. Yeah, without question. But Sage Karam's day is done in this 500, and the car count back in the garage continues to rise after a series of incidents scattered throughout the race. Will Powers, the race leader, under yellow with 45 laps to go. Marco Andretti's view of this sixth yellow flag.